Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! So Scotland Yard has tonight named two of the London Bridge attackers, Karum Shasad Bhatt and Rashid Radwan, both from Barking in East London. Anti-terrorism chief Mark Rowley said that Bhatt, who was a British citizen born in Pakistan, had been known to the police and MI5, but there had not been evidence that he had been planning an attack. Officers are now working to find out more about them and whether they were assisted by anyone else. Last year, Bhatt was featured in a Channel 4 documentary about British jihadis. Here's Jackie Long. Because he's white and he's English, he can go. But all of us that were just praying, we have to stay. Hiding in plain sight, on the street, captured on camera. This is Karim Butt, one of the men police say carried out the attack on Saturday night, which left seven people dead and almost 50 injured. So we were praying to the, they were speaking the attack. That's all you were doing. Defiant, playing to the cameras perhaps, claiming police harassment for simply praying. But later in the Channel 4 documentary in London's Regent's Park, he helps as his group unfurl the black flag, which has now become synonymous with Islamist terrorists, ISIS. Tonight, more than a year after this footage was broadcast, Karam Shazad Butt from Barking was officially named by the Met Police as one of the terrorists. The second, named as Rashid Redouan, also from Barking, and a third is yet to be identified. So, a key question tonight. What was known about the attackers, particularly Butt, his image and views made so public? People who know him say he was a man who didn't hide his extremism. And this is where it all ended. The scene at London Bridge moments after the three attackers drove a hired van directly into the crowds of people enjoying a night out. They then jumped from the van and began randomly stabbing passers-by with foot-long knives in nearby borough. Watch closely here as people run for cover in Arthur Hooper's, a restaurant in Stony Street. As the manager tries desperately to bring down the shutters, one of the attackers tries to prise them open to reach the people sheltering inside. The manager only just closes the door in time. Within eight minutes of police being called, the attackers lay dead themselves. They pretend suicide belts around their waists, shot dead by armed officers who fired an unprecedented 50 rounds. Since the attacks, there have been a string of police raids across East London, including in Newham, Dagenham, and here in Barking, where Butt lived with his family. Counter-terrorism officers launched fresh raids here in Barking in the early hours of this morning. As the police investigation continues after the devastating attacks of Saturday, troubling questions are emerging about what police knew or should have known about one of the suspects, Kuram Butt, before. Neighbours and former friends claim they told police of their concerns about his extremist views. And there's evidence that the police themselves we're in contact with him in the past. This confrontation between Butt and police officers was filmed by the Islamic extremist group Al Muhajiroon. In recent months, neighbours say Butt had become obsessed with Islam. This man, who didn't want to be identified, spoke to our reporter Assad Beg. All the time we were meeting, he was speaking about you need to be a Muslim, otherwise God is going to punish you. I was a moderate Muslim for him. I'm a Muslim, but I don't believe in extremist Muslims. He was always saying to me, oh, if your missus doesn't become a Muslim, you're going to end up in hell. Within the last hour, the Met Police say Karam Butt was known to them and MI5. In 2015, he was under investigation, one of 3,000 subjects of interest. During that time, they say they did receive a call about him, but some months later, they found no evidence or intelligence of attack planning, so he was no longer deemed a priority. 
The police said Rashid Redouan was not known to them. Police say they are still trying to find out if Butt and his accomplices were part of a wider network. They've appealed to the public for any information about the men, one of whom they already knew, but who somehow managed to slip the net. Jackie Long reporting.